Hi, this is Eric Peterson with Landopia. Hope you're doing well. Um, wanted to take a minute here and uh, try something new this week and talk about uh, this week's deal of the week. Um, that is um, my specials that I send out in email every week. Uh, if you're not on that email list, feel free to, to join. Uh, if you come to my website, uh, it's uh, Landopia, L-A-N-D-O-P-I-A dot com. Um, just look for the uh, the join bar. It looks like this. Join our preferred buyers list. You enter your email. Click join now. Uh, you'll get an email in your inbox asking you to confirm your address. And once you've done that, you'll be on the, the regular uh, email list. And you can expect um, special deals from me pretty much every week. Um, some kind of uh, either new property or announcement of a you know special savings for a particular property or what have you. Um, at any rate, uh, let's go ahead and jump in and, and talk about this week's uh, deal of the week. Uh, we're we're um, talking about this 40 acres here in Sanders, Arizona this week. Uh, the regular discounted cash price is $19,995 or 325 a month by 84 months. Uh, it is $995 down if you choose a terms option. Um, there's also a couple other options for payment here. 60-month term, 48-month term. Um, there is a maintenance fee on those, um, those terms ones, and we also prorate the taxes. Uh, so in the case of this property, you're going to be adding about $20 a month on top of these, these uh, monthly payments. Anyways... Um, so let's talk a little bit about this property. There is uh, where there are power poles on the uh, the western edge of this property along the road. Um, so you don't uh, normally find power poles um, near this kind of remote, um, you know, kind of vacant property. But in the case of this one, uh, we do have power poles, so that's definitely a bonus for a lot of people. Um, the property is zoned as general agricultural, uh, which means, you know, you could do a site-built home. You can uh, do a manufactured home. You can park an RV there. You can camp. Um, you can have livestock. Uh, you can even do some alternative-type homes, uh, container homes. Um, now, there are certain things that have to be done in order to do some of those alternative-type homes. Um, for example, a container home. You have to get uh, engineered drawings approved um, by the county before you could be begin construction on something like that. Um, but uh, just know that it's possible. Um, this 40-acre property is um, it's kind of rolling terrain. Um, we have uh, some photos here of the property that we can kind of go through. This is the uh, northeast corner looking to the opposite southwest corner. Uh, here's the northwest looking to the southeast and the southeast looking to the northwest and the southwest looking to the northeast. So that's those four photos kind of generally give you the, the overall landscape of the property. Uh, if we jump down here to the photo section, um, we can see more photos of the property. You can see here that the, the soil itself is kind of a sandy, loamy type soil. Um, which, you know, is pretty typical to this area of Arizona. Um, we do have some remnants of a fence there on the property. Um, this is near the road. Uh, there's a, a road on the western edge of this property. It's a dirt road. Um, that's where those power poles are. Um, here's another look from the southeast corner. You can see kind of some of the trees that are sporadically across the property. Um, some east views, uh, you know, we've got some rolling terrain, some pretty nice views off the property. It's, um, it's fairly a, a, a pretty property, really. Um, if I back up there, you can see this, this rock outcropping here, which is kind of a nice point of interest. Um, more views to the south. Um, here's a view from the north end of the property looking to the south. Uh, there's that out, our rock outcropping or at least a piece of it uh, juniper tree on the property there's that rock outcropping and one more of it um, it's towards the eastern side of the property I 
I actually don't know for certain if it's on the property or not. Um, you know, these, these photos are taken by a, a local photographer I work with. I, I give them the GPS coordinates and they go out there and visit the property and uh, produce these photos for me as well as writing a report. So um, anyways, this is the road. Uh, you can see the, the road here is in, in good shape. Uh, this is the north-south road, so the property is over in this area. Uh, there's the power poles we talked about already. Uh, here's another shot of the road um, and some of the power. And then we got some of the aerial images. We'll jump into Google Earth in a minute and, and take a closer look at those. We've got a GIS image here showing uh, we've got two properties to the north, and then this is the main access road up here, um, which then turns south and comes down along the property. Um, this is where those power poles run is right here. Okay. And uh, here's a look at uh, the property being here at this pin on the left, this being Gallup, New Mexico. Um, here you're going to find uh, Home Depot, Walmart, you know, kind of your big box type retailers if, if you need supplies or something like that. Uh, just about an hour from the property. And uh, let's jump up here. Um, we talked about the power lines, um, dirt road access. Um, Sanders is about eight miles to the northeast of this property, where this property is to the southwest of Sanders, depending on how you look at it. Um, Let's see here. The, the property is in Sanders, Arizona, which is Apache County. Uh, it is 40 acres exactly. Um, its uh, APN number is 207-66014. These are the GPS corner coordinates for the property. Um, and by the way, these would be the best way to locate the corners of the property. It is not staked. So um, using a, a handheld GPS and these coordinates, you can get pretty close to the corners of the property. Here's a Google Maps link. Uh, if you open that up, um, you're going to get a pin right to the northwest corner of the property. Okay. And uh, we're just under 6,000 feet in elevation. Property taxes are about 185 a year. Uh, the property is zoned. General Agricultural, we talked about that a little bit. Access is um, via County Road 7396. Um, and uh, you've got about five or six miles of dirt roads once you get off of Highway 191, which is paved. Um, you would need to install a septic system if you're going to live out there. Um, You could uh, dig a well for water, or you could haul it and store it in a holding tank. Uh, wells in this area, according to uh, the county records, appear to be in the 200 foot in depth range, um, plus or minus. Of course, it is going to depend on the specific property, um, but that's just a rough ballpark to, to kind of keep in the back of your mind. Uh, we talked about the power poles on the edge of the property. You could definitely tie into those by contacting the power company. Um, you could also use solar or wind, um, you know, as an alternative energy source in this area. Um, let's go ahead and uh, jump into the, the maps a little bit. Um, so this is the property, that pin. Uh, you'll see we've got the Petrified National Forest off here to the west on both sides of I-40. Uh, we've got Sanders. To the northeast of the property, we talked about Gallup, New Mexico being to the northeast. As I said before, that's about an hour away. Uh, we've got St. John's to the south. And uh, if we look over here to the west, we'll find Flagstaff. That's just over two hours, about two hours and 15 minutes away. And uh, then we've got Phoenix uh, to the south and to the west, and that's just over four hours away from this property. Um, you know, your, your climate here in Apache County is going to be cooler than uh, 
most of Arizona. You will get snow in the winter months um, and, and cooler temperatures as well. Um, taking a look at our Google Earth view of this property, we can see that uh, you know there's there's some type of um, dwelling or structure here to the south of this property. There's also something to the the north and west that looks like a mobile home um, and uh, something falling apart here. And then uh, I think yeah over here to the um, northwest looks like a couple containers sitting there and a, a dwelling here um, possibly manufactured home um, and then over here uh, remember our properties down here so to the northeast there's another dwelling um, there and you can see the power poles go into that property so by the way those power poles uh, we can see them right here in Google Earth there's one of them right here and if we there's another and uh, it looks like uh, immediately to the west of the property we have some uh, some remnants of an old house or something um, not much left of that from these images in Google Earth um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off our yellow square here for the property so we can kind of zoom in and take a look at the uh, the property itself and the contour of it um, so if we kind of change our view to look into the west kind of come in here so first of all we can see there's kind of some sections here of trees and up here on the northern end and then there's some some lower sections um, which is you know maybe a little bit more of a wash um, that runs through this um, this southern end of the property uh, where there's really no trees there and then in the very um, southeast corner here we do have some more trees and, and a little higher ground so so you can start to see how that that terrain is uh, is rolling a little bit um, if we get this lower we can see that even a little better okay so you can see it kind of drops here comes back up and then we do have another um, wash here winding through the property um, with some erosion there um, but you know I mean that's pretty typical in this area that you're gonna see some washes like that I mean there's certainly plenty of, of usable land there um, for you know if you want to build something if you want to just use this for recreation or have livestock or um, you know any of those things uh, you know you could definitely do um, and obviously you know something like putting an RV out here or uh, or manufactured home I mean you've got you've got plenty of space for something like that um, it looks like the property to the south may actually have a fence line on its northern edge um, you know maybe that's what we saw in the photos of the property maybe it was maybe that fence isn't in that great a shape or maybe there's another you know fence in this area somewhere um, at any rate um, that's kind of a look at uh, at the property um, let's see is there anything else we should talk about here so let's let's talk about the town of Sanders just a little bit and what you can expect there as I said it's about eight miles from the property um, it's a very small town uh, you do have a, a fire department um, you've got uh, um, yeah post office here um, a gas station um, and then on the north side of I-40 you've got a middle school and elementary school um, I think there's an yeah elementary school there library is there you also have um, the high school over here um, so not a whole lot of other stuff there in terms of um, you know 
restaurants and things like that. Uh, you do have uh, Witchwell's Tavern down here at uh, 191 and 61. That's about 30 minutes from the property. And then in St. John's, you're going to find some more um, recipes and or recipes, restaurants and things of that nature. Um, and uh, then over here on 40, uh, you've got some truck stops and things. Um, Navajo Travel Center is there. Um, I think I think that is uh, in this area. I think it's around here somewhere. Anyways, um, it's neither here nor there. Uh, in terms of recreation, um, immediately you, you have the Petrified National Forest. Um, if you take a look at the, the National Park Service website, you can, you can take a look at what that is. Um, you know, I mean, people do hiking, backpacking, horseback riding. Uh, there's some guided tours and, and different things like that. Um, there in the park, but uh, you know it's it's a very um, unique place, uh, the Painted Desert and, and Petrified Forest. So uh, definitely worth checking out, and if you enjoy the outdoors, uh, certainly worth uh, exploring some of those trails and, and spending some time there. Um, and that's you know that's pretty close to the property. The property is here, and this is pretty much the the Petrified National Forest all in through here as well as up in this area. So um, probably, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes from the property at most, maybe not even that far. Um, so anyways, uh, that, that pretty much wraps up this property. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of information here on my website. Feel free to check it out. Uh, you can use the map that's displayed here too to, to kind of take a look around um, the access. I don't know if we touched on that. I can't remember, but um, you know you've got County Road uh, 7396 and then 7395 um, that gets you out to to the highway here, and that's about five or six miles of, of dirt roads. Those are maintained roads, so they're in pretty decent shape. Um, that about covers it. Hopefully, uh, you find this helpful. Thanks.